Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tour of the draft workbench in FreeCAD. We're going to be covering some things, um, a little bit of draft move, draft move. We're going to do a line and we're going to do a, where is it, a D-wire. Um, and these are actually different things. And then I'm going to be doing a sweep of this peg hook. I used the peg hook because, it, because I needed to, to do a sweep with it to make the wire. Um, there may be other ways to do this, but uh, that's the way I chose. I also tried to do this in, in the sketcher, but it didn't work out quite the way I wanted. So I, I, I felt like this particular thing was easier done in the draft workbench, once you get the hang of draft, draft workbench. Um, some of the things we'll be covering is the draft upgrade, then uh, we'll look at draft downgrade as well. And, um, and then how, in part workbench, we'll do the sweep. So we'll start with, by, with a new document. So now I have opened my new document and I've drawn a line and a D wire. Now these are actually different and I'll try to explain that a little later. Um, but I've also put this box up here to help show you how you can select the working plane because you need to play around with the working plane and draft so you make sure you understand it completely. The first thing you can do to select the working plane is just by using these options here um, or auto. Auto um, does, does work fairly well, um, but I, I'm uncomfortable with it. You can also set it to whatever your current view is. So if you use your number pad to set the view, you can set the working plane to that view. So this is the view from the top, so I can set my work, working plane to view from the top. So that's, that's the basic function of the working plane. You can also set the working plane by picking points or surfaces, and I'll show you how to do that next. So the other ways to select a working plane are by selecting a face and clicking the working plane tool. You see how it snapped there. You can select any three vertices. I'll do that here. And the working plane will snap to it. Now with the working plane snap tool, you can draw and stay within that working plane. If you turn the snap tool off, you can draw outside of that working plane. So it's an easy way to constrain where your um, where your line or wire is being drawn. Uh, the next thing we need to talk about is the difference between a wire and um, or a line and a, a D wire. So you know, we'll let's uh, take a look at that. So on my drawing, I have a line and a D wire, and you can see the represented line and D wire. Um, these are different objects. It's important to note. So. For example, let's add a, another line to this. So you can see right away that this is similar to our, to our D wire here, but it's not the same. If I try to sweep this, it's not gonna sweep correctly. Um, but what you can do is you can take both lines or lines and curves, and then you can upgrade them. And that turns it into a wire. And now I can, now I can sweep uh, correctly with that. And I'll show you that in a minute um, when, we, when we do some of our model. You can also take this wire and downgrade it. I mean, it says explode, but now you have only edges. Now, and the difference between an edge and a line is you don't, an edge doesn't have the properties that a line has. So if you do a line here, you'll see that I've got a lot more options it, um, and properties of that line than I have of that D wire. Or I mean, I'm sorry, than I have of that downgraded wire. So that's important to keep in mind. So in order to continue, I've created a new document and I've added my own XYZ axis, you can see here, and I can turn it on and off. Um, and that's just for, for me to be able to browse better. You may be able to do this somewhere um, in FreeCAD, but I couldn't find the axis to add to the draft window. But also I wanted to show you that you can do it yourself. So I'm gonna add a D wire here that, that is gonna be the basic shape of our, our peg hook. And you can see just by having it um, on the working plane, I'm good to go. I'm going to change the color of this to black so we know what we're working on. That changes the whole wire. And then I'm going to select the wire and you can see there's uh, some options. So I'm going to give it a fillet of 0.5. So now you can see my corners are curved. Let's turn off the axis. So both of these corners are curved, which is what I want. So the next thing I'm going to be adding is a circle that I'll eventually be sweeping along this. At this point, I'm going to end a, add a circle to, to the end point of this line that's going to be swept. You can see I have my plane tool on the uh, X, Z axis, or I mean my working plane, and you can see I have the snap to plane turned off because I want the I want the circle to land on the end of this. And you can see if I do that and set an approximate width, 
you can see it's landed on the end of that line that's what I want so I'm going to change the size of this I'm going to make the radius just 0.5 I think that works for me and that's it the next thing we're going to do is sweep this around the uh, the whole line and after I do that I'm going to show you uh, a failed sweep I think to add the sweep to this wire we're going to we're without selecting anything because the selections aren't carried forward we're going to move to the part workbench here um, from draft I was already in it and we're going to select the sweep tool we're going to select the circle here you can't select it in the drawing I don't think um, and we'll add circle then we're going to add the sweep path and we have to select each segment individually while holding the control key otherwise it unselects the previous one let me zoom up on that to get it okay so you have to hold the, your control key or whatever your super key is I don't uh, or not super key whatever your equivalent of control is and then you click done um, now there's no visual update we're gonna do it as create a solid and click OK and that creates your sweep and that's what I found is the easiest way to create a sweep once you get the working pat working plane all worked out and under kind of understand that and the snapping in draft you're gonna be good to go so I've added a drawing with some lines instead of the wire and I'm gonna show you how that doesn't work with sweep and it's just stay away from it. So I'm in the part design here, I'm gonna do utility sweep and we're going to select the circle and we're gonna select all four of the lines or no, we're going to, I'm sorry, we're gonna go into sweep path and we're gonna select all the lines or no, let's just select the first two and click done and okay and you'll see that that doesn't work. And let's try to do it again. We're gonna do sweep, circle, or no, let's try to do it again. But let's first make this into a D wire. Uh, let's try this way. And we're gonna do draft downgrade or upgrade, sorry. And now that's a wire. Now let's do a sketch. Now let's do a sweep with that. So we'll go into part and sweep. Select circle, sweep path will be the wire, and done, and okay. And after a few seconds, you'll see this sweep fails. And you see how it fails is it's got the, it just, uh, it looks like it kind of did it, but then it didn't understand it. And I think you might be able to fiddle around with it to get it work. So if you do a trans, if you change this to transform, it might work. Yeah, it kind of works. But see, it's just not. It doesn't like it when you start with lines. So for sweeps, start with a wire. So the last piece I wanna work on is this wire that I've drawn. I've drawn it on the uh, ZY plane, but I need these two, these two legs to stick out into the X direction. And the best way I found that is to draw it in one plane, then to switch the plane. I've conveniently left these at zero on the Y, so, we'll be able to, so I was able to select this plane. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edit this D wire and now I can select that end, and you know it's selected by its dis dis by it being disappeared. And I'm just going to bring it over to this point in the grid, so that's moved my wire. I'm going to do the same thing over here. You could also accomplish this with rotate, but it's a little bit harder. Um, so now that I've got my 3D shape the way that I want it, I'm going to uh, add those circles to the end, and I'll show you the final product as I sweep it. So here are my final two pieces, and I'm just going to just play with them a little bit. Um, you could probably do this in the part workbench might be better or not like uh, an assembly to get them just right so they would be kind of just like that and just like that you know so that would be our sort of our final thing but uh, you know attach it in a more official way but you can see you know we've, we've got the model we wanted and um, you know for me I've solved how like these aren't spaced correctly or anything like that but I've solved how I can get this uh, draft thing to do sweeps the way I really want it to. Um, it was quite a journey. It, a lot of the stuff is non-obvious, so I want to. But I want to encourage you to um, to really stick with it. And as you play with a draft workbench, you will get the hang of it. Just keep trying and trying different things. Use the manual, and uh, I hope you like this. This I, I I know this is a simple object, but I was kind of proud of this one because the draft workbench has been my nemesis. So any, anyway, if you like it, subscribe and make sure you uh, click the alarm bell so you get notified of new videos. And I'll uh, see you later.